the first alert storm center updates. And checking in on the tropics, we have a little bit of a change from yesterday. Index, Invest 96L now down to only 30% chance of development. So the window is closing for development into a tropical system. Either way, it is headed uh, north into the northern Atlantic, so that won't be affecting uh, anyone. And uh, today is August 1st, which uh, begins the climatologically busiest part of our hurricane se season from August uh, through September and into early October. And uh, usually this time of the year, most of our systems come from those tropical waves that move off the coast of Africa and they can go one of uh, three different directions including into the Gulf of Mexico but good news as of now through the middle of August not seeing any signs of tropical development out that way so uh, hopefully we'll keep it that way through the end of August as well uh, looking back on July the numbers are in and this month uh, this July uh, was the third warmest July on record for the Alexandria area 1998 still that warmest July on record and actually last summer was hotter last July uh, but uh, July 2023 ties with 1932 for that third warmest July on record and of course it's all due to that strong upper level ridging that is going to be holding strong here over the days to come. Uh, there is good news though by the end of the weekend early next week we start to see this trough kind of eroding away at that ridge that should push a front close to our to our area and we may finally see some relief from the triple digits as well as some slightly higher rain chances. Meanwhile at the surface we do have the stall frontal boundary now across the area and that uh, is uh, allowing a couple of showers to develop out there and this could bring us uh, some additional spotty rainfall here on Wednesday as well but uh, heat will continue to be that primary story so mid to upper 70s tonight not cooling off a, uh, a lot of here during the nighttime hours with these extreme daytime highs and tomorrow we're looking at highs between 100 and 105 across the area, shooting for 103 again in the metro area. The record for tomorrow is 107 from back in 1998. So again, that was a very hot July. In fact, uh, we reached our uh, some of our all-time record highs that month, including uh, a high of 109, which is the all-time record high uh, for the Alexandria area. Uh, heat advisories in, in effect for tomorrow, an excessive heat warning actually again on Wednesday. That'll be for peak heat index up to 115 degrees so temperatures will be warm and feels like temperatures will be even warmer we will have some rain chances in the forecast tomorrow mainly isolated here to the north in that 30 to 40 percent range so some spotty rain is a definite possibility here for a Wednesday afternoon hopefully you get one of those showers to cool things off so going into tonight uh, mainly clear skies through the overnight hours mostly sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow uh, models honing in on a bit of activity tomorrow during the late afternoon, early evening hours, and then tapering off of that loss of daytime heating tomorrow night. So, uh, uh, by the way, with those clear skies tonight, will be the perfect chance to catch that full super moon, uh, one of two this month. And this one is the full sturgeon moon. It, uh, the moon will rise tonight at 8.35 p.m., uh, also called the grain moon, the corn moon, and the lightning moon. And uh, it's called the sturgeon moon because of uh, the number of sturgeon fish found in the Great Lakes uh, this time of the year. Uh, so planning it for your Wednesday, plan on another hot day, upper 90s by lunchtime, feeling more like uh, 109 there, about 10 degrees warmer than that temperature. And uh, looking at our extended forecast, we do keep the triple digits in the forecast here all the way through the weekend and into early next week. But finally, by Tuesday there, we're down to only 98 degrees and we do have